Mmm, LaCroix. Fizzy, cold, refreshing, and incredibly addicting. It starts with just one can a day. And then, before you know it, this happens. You're not alone either. Sales of LaCroix have more than tripled in the past few years. But hey, what's the harm? After all, it's just water, right? It says right here, naturally flavored, with no sweeteners, no calories, no artificial anything. But if you're drinking a pack a day, you gotta wonder, what the hell is natural flavor? And could this stuff actually be bad for you? According to the FDA, natural flavor can be anything a company uses to add flavor to a product, so long as it comes directly from a natural source. But there is a catch. Even if, for example, a certain grapefruit flavor is extracted directly from grapefruits, companies can still mix in synthetic additives, like solvents, to make that flavor blend well with the other ingredients. The FDA calls these ingredients incidental additives. And thanks to a lack of policy governing their use, food makers are not required to disclose what they are or when they're in a product. When a consumer sees natural flavors on an ingredient label, that does not necessarily mean that the product or the, or the food is free of synthetic ingredients. In higher concentrations, we definitely know that some of these can be harmful. The question would be at what levels they're found in foods. So we asked National Beverage if they use any incidental additives in their product, LaCroix. And, no surprise, they claim that there is nothing artificial in the drink. Of course, we have to take this claim at face value because they're not required to tell us how they extract those flavors. There's two different issues. One is the lack of transparency and not knowing exactly what's being added to a product. The other concern would be that the use of these flavors are um, making foods that may not be as healthy for you as your body thinks. Even if there's nothing artificial added, there could still be naturally derived additives that could be harmful if you drink too much of them. Unlikely? Yes, but there's no way to know for sure. And there's still one more concern for LaCroix fanatics. All those bubbles. So we asked a dentist, is carbonation bad for your teeth? Sparkling water is carbon dioxide dissolved in water, which forms carbonic acid. When you drink a carbonated beverage, that natural fluid in the mouth neutralizes the carbonic acid and there's very little damage likely to occur. How should you celebrate that bit of good news? With some bubbly, of course. But as always, drink responsibly.